Hi, this is Lazy Mapper bringing you some Far Cry 3 multiplayer custom map gameplay with a bunch of friends. In this video, I'll talk about the ratings and top rated maps. Kind of curious what you guys think about it. You can leave comments down below. I had a fun time playing with a bunch of guys Fallen Champ, Alpha Sergeant 14, Walsh D's, Long Rider, Edge Ramsey, also known as Shiny Tapestry 71 played all these really great looking maps they not only looked really great they all played very well if you haven't heard far cry 5 will have a map editor and that's about all we know and uh, we're not sure if they're gonna have a rating system or what type it is but in far cry 4 i didn't think the rating system worked particularly well at least on the console side of things i did a video on that already how, what i thought about the rating system fallen champ has also made a video about the rating system on the PS4. Now I only have the Xbox One right now, but I'm able to play PS4 maps using a uh, map swapper that Steve64B has made. I'll leave a link for that if you're ever interested in playing uh, console maps from your PC. So I played what I consider top maps on all systems, meaning top maps in my opinion. So this is just my opinion. Maybe People really love these flat green maps, and uh, I'm not trying to take nothing away from anybody, but if you see what the editor can do, and you see that these are the top maps on consoles, you won't want to make any maps. It kind of deters you from making a good quality map when you see what the top maps are on the consoles. Now, right here, I have a picture of the top assault maps on Xbox One. Now, don't get me wrong, if you play one or two of them, they can be kind of fun. I understand, you know, there's a younger audience on console maps, but the the title of this is called Top Rated Maps, not fun, flat, invincible maps. So as somebody who's been making maps for a long time and still makes maps on consoles and talking to a bunch of map editors who make what I like to call high effort maps, these are maps that usually take weeks to make. They'll say to me, why bother when these low effort maps that usually take a couple hours to make are top rated and my high effort map is never played or can't be found. So Ubisoft has placed in a system that seems to elevate very basic map design. I'm hoping in Far Cry 5 they have a different system or maybe you rate the maps differently or possibly they have their own special section. So younger audiences can enjoy these types of maps even when you take a look at the top rated outpost maps in xbox one they're all still very basic in design the map editor is very robust you can do all kinds of stuff you can let your imagination run wild you can also try and make a more natural map or something that's more immersive to something crazy like a horror map the imagination of the editor is gone when you take a look at some of these maps. They're all just basic invincible maps. You can't even get killed. I were to go buy a game and you couldn't get killed in the game. Why bother? Where's the challenge at? I mean, I personally like a challenge in a map also. No matter what it is. If it's even racing against a friend in a map or maybe it's an escape map and you have a timer to try and get through the map. Now, don't get me wrong. Not every single top rated map is a low effort map there are some high effort maps in the mix also a lot of the maps are i guess you could say copied again and republished and made it into the top maps you'll have maps that re are just the same maps over and over again in the top rated maps it's like a big mess if you ask me in my last episode of real talk I talk about how republishing other mappers work clogs up the system and this is a perfect example in the top rated maps. Now on the PC side of things and I talk to a bunch of map editors there, they're pretty content with the rating system and how the top rated maps are. And if we take a look at the top rated maps on PC, you can see a big difference even by the pictures. I've also played a lot of those top rated maps. I wish I could make a video for every single one of them. But my time is limited and I try to cover information and make videos of maps from all systems. Take a look at the PC. The guys really do have a lot of great maps on there. I wouldn't say it's perfect on their side either. Though I'm sure it helps that their audience is 
probably older and take mapping very seriously. But if you look on the assault side of the maps, they got problems too with republished maps. A lot of these maps are old. I would think if they could update the system, maybe every other month or something, I don't have the perfect solution. That's why I'm making this video. I would like to hear what some of you guys think about the system. Do you think it's perfect? Do you think the PC side, if anybody plays on there, do you think that system's perfect? I think uh, even on the PC maps, all the maps are really great, play really well, but they all seem to have the same theme. If you go outside the box a little bit too much on the PC side, your map will be quickly downvoted. So if you try to be you know, super creative or maybe make a horror map or something that's not like the campaign, your map seems to be downvoted fairly quickly which I like to play all types of maps this, like I said as long as it has some type of challenge so I don't necessarily think that's perfect either there has to be a, some balance that will support all types of mappers even the ones with the low effort maps if they have a separate system or a separate area that they can play their maps the high effort maps get pushed up so people strive to make better maps to me, that's a better system. I'm not sure how they could do it, but I'm sure there's ways. If you're able to add tags to your map, like a horror theme map, they do have some type of tags that you could put on your map. If you're able to search by tags, high effort map, low effort map, escape maps, I think that's a better system also to be able to search the type of map you want to play. The more this map editor supports different type of mappers the more successful this game will be if far cry 5 has the same system as far cry 4 then may deter mappers from getting involved in the game all the past mappers i know from far cry 2 far cry instincts predator 99 percent of these guys didn't buy far cry 4 um even when some of them did they said what the hell's wrong with this rating system and i said to them i don't know it seems that Younger map editors want to make silly maps, so some YouTubers can make silly videos. I don't know what the best solution is. I hope there's uh, better ways in Far Cry 5 so everybody can make the types of maps they want and everybody can find them. And when you see a top rated map, it's more of a high effort map. I hope you enjoy watching my video. Stay tuned while I cover the Map Jam 3 maps at 1. Thanks for watching The Lazy Mapper.